Hi, honey, this is me, <laughs> Dennis from Denmark, DFD. Um, of course I miss you. Um, that is one of the most insane videos you ever made I've seen, where it's you as a person and not someone you're impersonating. Uh, <laughs> he's pretty good looking. Is he for sale? I'm oh, sorry, never mind. Um, I think I know what he means about teaching you a lesson. Either he's gonna spank your little tush, but the most likely thing is he's gonna poison you with the salmonella egg. So don't do let him go near the kitchen, honey, because he's gonna poison you. But oh, he was kind of cute, you know. Is he your husband, boyfriend, friend, boyfriend thingy, sexual thingy, whatever? I need to know if you're cheating on me. I mean, I'm gay, but I need to know if you're cheating on me. That's a very, very important thing. Um, I didn't exactly watch the video. I didn't, you know, want, oh shit, sorry, watch it to the end, you know, but I'm going to. Um, I don't have the gastric bypass, by the way. I'm considering being converted from my banding to a bypass. Because I have to realize I've got one, they can put one portion more or a mill more, milliliter more of, um, is it 1cc more of, of saline in the, the, the banding or the, the ring. But I'll just, you know, have to eat fluent uh, stuff the rest of my life. And I don't want to do that. I'd rather have a bad bypass. I mean, I'm very, you know, in German they say, zack, zack, zack. It's very like, dum, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum. If that doesn't work, let's have the next one. I've had it for five years, more than five years, and I've lost more than 100 kilos. So, you know, it works. Um, but I don't want to fight anymore. It's become a constant, you know, reminder. I have to think about everything I do. The bypass would make it somewhat easier. And I guess I've gone from the thinking stage to the let's have it done stage. And that's pretty scary. And then again, I don't know what I'm scared of, you know. Nothing, I guess. Nothing. It's just. I'm not even afraid of, of you know, the surgery itself or the the anesthesia or anything. Nothing. I mean, that's not. I've had so much surgery. I, having gastric banding, having. St uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, excessive skin removed on my stomach and. Uh, Gastro, no, what's it called? Gastroplasty, I don't know. Abdominoplasty. And I've had gynecomastia, had my breasts removed. Um, I've had my gallbladder removed, so I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, I don't care about the, the, um, the, the surgery. It's just the, the point right after where you know you can't do what you used to. Now I've gotten used to the banding for like five, five and a half years. And now I'm going to have to get used to the bypass if I get cleared for surgery. I might be too thin. I don't think so. My BMI is like 39 or 40, so it should, you know, my body mass index indicates I'm a perfect candidate for the bypass because you have to be have a body mass index of 40 and I am 39.7 so if they choose to discard me for a zero uh, a point zero no point three um, um, scale you know no so yeah if I can, da 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 da, I'm gonna have it done. This is, I mean, this is so, you know, really like, I wasn't gonna say anything until it was done. But I just, I hate secrecy. I really hate. There's too much of it in my family. So I started saying every uh, to the, th the 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 three people that I told, you know, I'm gonna tell you and this and this person, and then don't say it to anyone. My family won't know. But I chose to say, you know, I'm through with secrets and lies and deceit and everything. It's just so. My family's kind of intricate in many ways. Some parts of the family. Not all. Just one segment of my family. And I don't talk that much to them anyway, so. 
But, you know, it's like, I'm only 27 and a half or something like that. No, 27. And um, it's time to do it, to get the last 30 kilos off and just be who I am. 40 kilos. That'd be perfect. So I'm going to ask the former surgeon, no, he, my former surgeon. If he'll do my operation, he is he'll he's a part owner of a private hospital now, but he still works for the public hospital where I got the surgery. And if you're a, if it's a conversion, they have to do it on the public hospital. But in Denmark, we're so lucky that we have through our taxes we pay for medical treatments. So if I get cleared for surgery and have a yes and get a yes, I'm just you know gonna stand by for the fall and then hopefully get surgery. So yeah. That's it. So anyway, uh watch out, don't let him go to the kitchen, don't let him serve you breakfast if it includes eggs or anything, I'll give you anything, bird or anything. Because he's gonna teach you a lesson. And um I missed you, yes, and I have tons of your videos I haven't seen, or I've just really not, I'm not that into the whole YouTube, you know, check my things out thing, I need to learn slowly, I'm not, you know, a quick learner, fast learner, so it's gonna, you know, come gradually, and then, um, one more thing, I don't know what I'm saying this, but I'm going to, I've had a period of, you know, thinking about God because I converted from Christianity six years ago to Buddhism more than six years. No, six years. I just had this period when my friends got saved and blah blah blah. blah. Nothing negative, but you know. And I was like, is, the, is it wrong what I'm doing? And for the first time for real in six years, I'm like, no, I'm doing the right thing for me and I'm really happy. I'm happy being a Buddhist and I'm going to be the rest of my life and for many more lifetimes. But for me, it's so wonderful to meet people. I love to meet new people of other beliefs and uh, attitudes, so to speak. And I'm just, you know, happy to know you for who you are and that we can talk. Um, even though we have different beliefs and religions. And actually, you mean a lot to me. Might sound strange. But Singwala Deb, you rock my world. I'm crazy, I know. And if you could, honey, get him to do some more of that, you know, not running away from the webcam when you turn it. I want to see more. I love you, so take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon, hopefully. And remember, if you ever feel like camping in Denmark, I've got a great backyard with a small creek. And I've got a dog house, and I've got a fire shed, a wood shed, it's called. And I've got a playhouse, and I've got, you know, swings. I'm digging a pond right now for all my koi carps, and I've got all sorts of stuff y'all gonna love. So if y'all want to come to Denmark, you know, camping, honey, you just come on right in. Dennis's house is open for you. Just, you know your doggies, your cats, whatever you have, dust mites, whatever, just bring them on, bring them on. Uh, I hope you're well and you're at good health. And I hope to see a video response very soon because I miss you. Hi.